In the battle against disinformation, Google is launching a new campaign across all of Europe. The tech giant wants to release short videos highlighting the mechanisms common to many misleading claims. The videos will appear as advertisements on platforms like Facebook, YouTube or TikTok. Google wants to use a technique called pre-bunking. But what exactly does that mean? We asked the question to Sandra van der Linden, a social psychologist at Cambridge University. Pre-bunking is the opposite of debunking, so it's a preemptive technique based on the idea of psychological inoculation. So just as vaccines expose people to a weakened dose of a virus to try to trigger the production of antibodies to help prevent future infection, it works the same with pre-bunking. You preemptively try to refute a future falsehood or the techniques that are used to do people online so that people can build up cognitive or mental antibodies so that when they actually come across it in the future, they're partly immune. And so last year, Google had already launched a pre-bunking campaign in Poland, the Czech Republic, as well as in Slovakia, of false claims about Ukrainian refugees causing a housing crisis in these three countries. And this video was watched a whopping 38 million times, half of the population of these countries concerned. Take a look. Wojna w Ukrainie trwa nie tylko w terenie, ale także w twoim telefonie. Żeby wygrać tę wojnę, niektórzy będą próbować tobą manipulować, robiąc z Ukraińców kozła ofiarnego i winiąc ich za twoje problemy. Hej, wszystko gra? Pytam, jak ci idzie szukanie mieszkania. Przez tych Ukraińców nie mogę znaleźć mieszkania. Co? Polacy nie mają już gdzie mieszkać. Rząd zabiera nam mieszkanie i rozdaje za darmo Ukraińcom. And researchers found that uh, compared to people who hadn't seen the videos, the ones who did watch them were less likely to spread false information. However, uh, pre-bunking does have some downfalls, according to Sander van der Linden. Sometimes I worry that social media companies see this as an excuse not to take down content or not to pursue regulation because they're saying, look, we can empower people and pre-bunk everything, um, which, you know, which, which is great. But, you know, it's one tool in the toolbox. It shouldn't be the case that that becomes a replacement for taking down uh, harmful content uh, or implementing measures that improve the algorithm or change the incentives on social media. In Europe, these videos will be rolled out in Germany soon, and a similar campaign is also in the works in India.